Hi guys, this is Grant for the Brutally Delicious Podcast, uh, bringing you a review for Blood For Me's new album, Dawn of Malevolence. Now, who are Blood For Me? Well, I don't know. Um, like, seriously, I know nothing about this band. This could be the first album. It could be the tenth album, for all I know. So, honest first impression, I think, is what you're getting right here, because I've only listened to this twice as well. Um, I, when I'm listening to something new, I like to... I say, honest first opinion, I guess. So, <clears throat> we'll get stuck in. Um, track one, Convoluted Reality. Um, it's a good showcase for what you're going to get out of this band. The, the mix is nice, it's very intense. Uh, the guitars are cutting through very well. The blend between the drums and the guitars on this is something that, from a mix and perspective, I'm very, very happy to hear. It, it just works. Um, you only get a little bit of it as well, but the highest musical point in relation to this album so far is the bass sound. Um, you just hear one note on this track and you're like, ooh, I like the sound of that. And the bass is sitting quite high in the mix as well. Um, it's nice and clear. Uh, so it's adding very percussively to the uh, the guitar right hand that makes for a really, really tight sound. Uh, good growling vocals as well. Um, cutting through nicely on the low end. A lot of death metal, I'm sure anybody that listens to a lot of death metal will know they've got a habit of cutting too much out of the low of the vocalist and leaving them sounding quite hoarse. Tracks 2, 3 and 4, they're all in a very similar vein. It's growls, it's intensity, it's nice and tight. As a death metal fan, you get to the end, for me anyway, I get to the end of uh, track 4 and I'm kind of thinking... Is this going to be one of those death metal albums? And that's not to disrespect anybody that likes that old school sound. But to me, death metal can start to sound a bit samey. And that's not what I want. <coughs> and I'm glad that it doesn't. Because track 5, nice in the middle of the album. It's a good choice as far as album structure is concerned. We get incarcerated reflections that has a totally different feel to what's come before it. It's got elements of later carcass in there with the way that the riffs are structured black metal hints coming across the top um yeah you know nice work guys and it's placed just right you know what i mean like i say i've never heard of these guys before so i would have liked to have seen it a little bit earlier in the album as a first listener but that's me track six demented masquerade Again, they're going for a different feel. We've got a movie sample or something in there as the opener. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very effective in building the tension for the rest of the song. The title track, Dawn of Malevolence, very solid, very aggressive. Again, a little bit of a different feel to it to what has happened at the, the early half of the album. Track 8, Crimson Redemption. That's where this bass sound comes back in, and I'm so happy to hear the bass leading this song. It's... For me, it's something that I might like to hear a little bit more out of with this band is letting the bass ride because that bass sound is, it, it's something special. I'm a bass player, so I'm going to geek on it for a little bit. Um, well, I have geeked on it a little bit. I'm going to shut up about it now. It's nice. It really, really works. And then track nine, whose name I've actually forgotten. So I'm just going to look it back up here. I've lost it. Never mind. Track 9 kind of takes us back to the start of the album. We've got more of an old school death feel. It's tight, intense guitars. It's a lot of blast beats in the background. Your standard death metal, growly nastiness. It's, from the point of view of how the album is structured, that's nice as well. It, you know, it, it takes you on a journey. Uh, they kind of show their intentions in the first half of the album. They experiment a little bit in the latter half, and then that very last track, it kind of reminds you where you've been this was a pleasure to listen to it really really was um i don't mark my stuff or at least i didn't in the last one i don't think i'm going to start now but this is a good outing and i would recommend anybody go and listen to it because you're going to get an enjoyable experience especially the bass sound this has been grand for brutally delicious signing off